Hey, what's going on, NFL fans and Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy Antoine Smithy Smith, Smithy Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down. Y'all know how I do it, man. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell. You get my videos as soon as I drop them. Also, press that like button to help me get my videos through the YouTube universe. Greatly appreciate it, as always. But I have a couple of headlines that I want to share with y'all. I'm sure a lot of y'all know. A lot of y'all keep up with the Falcons like I do. But for those that don't know, the Falcons have made some more moves. Uh, they had recently signed running back Deontay, Deontay Foreman, formerly of the Houston Texans and Tennessee Titans. And this right here, man, this might be a sleeper pickup because he played for Arthur Smith in Tennessee last year. Now, he didn't, he didn't do much, man, but it always good to get someone in that knows your system. Um, but the 95 yard that he did gain, and I wasn't expecting to get no playing time in Tennessee because Derrick Henry was getting the bulk of the carries. Uh, so when you look at that, I think um, that he, it was stacked against him anyway. But let's look at his size, man. Uh, 6'1", about 235. Excellent size for a running back. And you, this type running scheme, you need a big back. Mike Davis is a big guy. Uh, but you bring in the, the Ante Foreman. Uh, he's 6'1", about 235, as I said, has size, decent speed, runs about a 4'5". That's decent speed for a guy his size. Uh, so, um, when you look at that, um, Quadri Allison is what comes to mind when you um, when you think about big backs that we already have, along with Mike Davis. Uh, so, Quadri Allison, Deontay Foreman, they're going to battle. Uh, Caleb Hunt leads Javion Hawkins, who I love. A uh, small guy can catch the ball at the backfield. Just an all around threat back. Third down, anywhere you want to put him. Uh, so the Falcons have a great competition at running back. Deontay Foreman is going to add to that. So uh, when you look at what he could bring to Atlanta, I was already knowing um, Arthur Smith's system, I think, is a plus. Um, he may be on the practice squad. That's where he spent 2019 with the Indianapolis Colts before going to Tennessee. So um, maybe he could just help the young guys, you know, adjust to the game. And that's the reason why Arthur Smith is bringing in veterans and players that he, you know, have communicated with uh, to get his message across and get players to understand it. But uh, Deontay Foreman could be a sleeper pickup. Uh, power back, something that they still need, even though they have Mike Davis and Quadra Allison. Uh, it's just competition, and I still love the way that he's doing it. Rest of the news, man, the Falcons have activated offensive lineman really, Willie Wright and offensive lineman Caleb McGarry from the PUP list. Um, so now they're el eligible to go back to practice, and uh, the Falcons have been short on the line, so this is great news. Uh, we all know uh, Caleb McGarry's uh, past history with his heart ailments. Um, and I always thought, man, that they were going to take a lineman just in case uh, McGarry couldn't continue. But we pray he make it all the way through, man, and uh, keep staying healthy and keep producing as an Atlanta Falcon. Uh, but in the process, you know when you pick up people, you got to cut people. So uh, Atlanta Falcons released Deidre Sinat. Um, three year pro out, three year pro uh, out of UCF, a uh, USF, University of South Florida. Um, he was a bull. Uh, the Falcons took him in the third round, and I just think, man, I'm just gonna be real with y'all, man. I'm superstitious just a little. I think that number ninety four is curse, man. Um, when you look at uh, Perea Jerry, freakish injury, same type injury that Dietrich and I had, uh, but. I think uh, it's going to be tough for him to catch on anywhere else, but prayers go out to him, man. I hope he catch on and continue his career. But um, for some reason, I always thought, you know, he has two arms are too short uh, for a defense tally. He's 6'1", about 305. And he's a little bit wider than Grady Jarrett, but one thing about Grady Jarrett, his arms are regular length. And when you have short arms uh, as a defensive tackle, um, it hurts your leverage. Uh, so I think that was one of his problems. Uh, but he played three seasons, had 34 tackles in the fumble, forced fumble, fumble recovery. Uh, so Dennis is not released by the Atlanta Falcons. They also released uh, defensive back Tyler Hall, who played in 2020 as an undrafted free agent. Six tackles for the whole season and played in 16 games. Uh, played special teams, too. 
So, um, that's your news. And, um, we'll see what happens next, man. But, um, first preseason game coming up. Y'all be ready for it. Julio returns. I will be going live. Be and enjoy your world at 6.30 p.m. Friday. February, August the 13th uh, at 6.30. But this your boy Antoine Smitty, Smith Smitty, Sports Machine. I'll catch you on the flip side, man. Peace.